When Donald Trump sits down with Kim Jong Un, he's meeting the heir to the world's most powerful hereditary monarchy. The Kim dynasty was founded by the current ruler's grandfather. Kim Il Sung was a fat, jolly killer, the spitting image of his grandson. For more than three years, battle has raged across the fields of his troubled land, taking its toll of dead and injured. A Stalinist placeman, Kim Il Sung started the Korean War, which killed three million, and blamed it on the Americans. The United States ended up dropping more bombs on North Korea than they did on Nazi Germany, a fact of history that's not been forgotten. Over five decades, North Korea's political religion changed from Stalinism to Kim Il-sungism through brainwashing that shaped everyone's lives. Oh, we called uh, Kim Il-sung was father. We always called him father, and we always say that, uh, thank you, my father. Ji Hyun Park now lives on the edge of the moors near Manchester, but she was born in North Korea and brought up to adore Kim Il-sung and his son, Kim Jong-il. I believe that is, uh, Kim Il-sung is my father because uh, my well, real father mother is uh, in a home, but uh, I didn't uh, respect it to them too much. I always respected the Kim Il-sung, but I never met the Kim Il-sung. I only seen him on the picture, just on the picture and <laughs> on a TV, but I believed, I really believed to him. It wasn't just North Koreans who fell under the spell of the Kim dynasty. The Romanian dictator Nicolae Ceausescu visited North Korea twice in the 70s and came away, one advisor said, quite mad. This is mass adulation on the scale of a nation state. When I went to the Hermit Kingdom undercover five years ago, I found myself bowing before a statue of Kim I. Other foreigners went to North Korea to learn the art of killing. At Shannon, we caught an Aeroflot flight from Havana bound for Moscow. From Moscow, we transferred to another plane on the tarmac without going into the airport, and we were flown to Pyongyang. There was no North Korean stamps on our passport or uh, anything like that. There was no official record of us being in North Korea. Declan was one of a handful of official Irish Republican Army volunteers who went to North Korea in 1988 to learn how to kill the British, part of the dynasty's secret campaign to ferment world revolution. Every volunteer was given a rifle AK-47, short arm and a handheld rocket launcher. And they stressed that uh, the ammunition was very precious. A rifle round was the equivalent of a chicken. Do you think people were free to make up their own minds about things? The people were totally brainwashed into believing that the great leader was the most important thing in their lives. It was absolute adoration, a mixture of brainwashing out and out love. The IRA men were not alone in the terrorist training camp. Robert Mugabe's special troops were in the compound next to us. We used to communicate with them when no one was looking. There were hundreds of them. Kim Il-sung died in 1994 and the dear leader Kim Jong-il took over. This was the first time power was handed down from father to son in a communist regime. Kim Too lacked his dad's charisma, but made up for it in cunning. Ji Hyun was a teacher, raising a new generation in Kimist thought control 
when something happened that shattered her faith. Famine. In 1996, my uncle died of starvation in front of me. He stayed seven days with me, and I saw the every minute and every second. So I called him, uncle, uncle, you have breakfast, but he didn't take any actions. And then a few minutes after, he just is, He was dead. That died, yeah. No one knows how many died in the famine because no one counted. Maybe as many as four million people perished, and many of those were children. I usually saw the many dead bodies in street, in market, and the train, uh, train stations. How many dead bodies did you see with your own eyes? Oh, I saw the many, many, because of the, usually I saw the children's because uh, uh, children is really hunger and uh, they uh, left the home and uh, they found the food in the street. Sometimes they hunger and they slept, but they didn't wake up. But if you were a guest of the palace, life was wholly different. Ha misurato la, misu, la, la distanza relativa tra le olive, prendendole in nota in un quaderno. Italian pizza chef Armano Falanis and his wife Marilou were invited to North Korea to cook for Kim Jong il and his court at the height of the famine. Newsnight caught up with the Italians at the summer palace of the Venetian Doge, as you do. Io gli ho spiegato che le olive le ho buttate a caso, ma loro mi scansavano infastiditi e continuavano a misurare con il centimetro quanto dovesse esserci tra un'oliva e l'altra. Quindi ogni pizza con le olive che sarà fatta in Nord Corea sarà una copia esatta della pizza con le olive che ho fatto io. And then came a royal visitor. Agitazione totale, tutti sull'attenti, fermi, in riga. E... Io cerco di vedere che cavolo sta succedendo, no? E loro erano tutti così, come presi in solenne, eh, così, in crisi mistica, no? Siccome io non abbassavo la testa, mi ha messo proprio la mano così. Mi ha spostato la testa. Mi ha impedito di guardare. Era, e stava giù perché è praticamente vietato guardare il gran leader. Amano and his wife were in a palace beach resort taking orders by semaphore. In their cocoon, they saw nothing of the famine, but they did catch one glimpse of unrest. The limousine passava per un'ala o due ali di, di folla vociante, e una signora si è buttata contro la nostra limousine. Si è buttata sui, sui finestrini, battendo, sì. una vecchia. But when they asked what was going on, the driver refused to answer. Il nostro accompagnatore quando guidava, noi spesso gli facevamo delle domande e lui faceva finta, quando non voleva rispondere, faceva finta di non sentire e alzava addirittura un po' la radio, così avevano delle cassette con musica tipica coreana, quindi sembrava veramente di essere in un film. Fear of economic collapse of a second famine drives the regime to the conference table to talk about giving up its nuclear shield, the very thing that prevents its other nightmare regime change. Even back in 1988, when the official IRA man was in North Korea, the regime was fixated on how to defend itself against nuclear attack. My one abiding memory of Korea was the sound of explosions, morning, noon and night. They were tunneling into mountains outside Pyongyang because they had plans to move the entire population inside, inside the mountains in the event of a nuclear attack. It sounds crazy, but it's true. Ji Hyun ended up safe in Manchester. Does she think Kim Jong-un will give up his nukes? No, Kim Jong-un is never give up nuclear weapons because this nuclear weapons is start his grandfather, Kim Il-sung, and Kim Jong-il always mentioned that we uh, fight it again in America, so that's a very strong country now. So what that is why we got the uh, nuclear weapons. 
I don't believe the Koreans will ever give up their nuclear weapons. And that's what gives them the edge. That points to Kim III keeping his nukes, whatever sweeties Donald Trump may offer.